who needs to read this and what does the church need to do right now? I think the church, I say in the book, we, have, we need to be the ne Nehemiahs. We need to build back the walls in the church and build back the, the people and prepare the people because the Christian walk is a spiritual warfare walk. Yes, it is. It is a spiritual warfare. If, if you say yes to Jesus, you, have, you, put a, you put a bullseye on you, but you know what? God is writing your story. Mm -hmm. No weapon formed against you. Prosper. I don't care who it is, sickness, whatever. They can form something against you, but the Bible promised that it will never prosper and you will get the victory. So how do we do that? I mean, obviously, the Lord has given us the armor of God, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. includes the Word of God, which yes. is the sword of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. and he's, he's given us the ability to face the enemy head on and not turn around and run. And we've got a lot of Christians that are turning around and running from truth mm -hmm. or trying to be politically correct right. or trying to please people, and they're being decimated. How important is it to stand strong and face the enemy head to head? You know, I, I do it every day, all day. I face the enemy all day. I got the word of God, which is, I, first of all, I say, this is my fight in the battle. I, and, and sometimes the battle can get into a war, right? Because from a battle, sometimes it can be six months you're under fire fighting okay. this devil in front of you, right? Because whatever you kill quick, it's not your fight, by the way. Mm -hmm. That's just a warm up to get you for the real fight. So what I do is, I, the first thing is the word of God. Second thing is faith. The third thing I ask God to give me spiritual strength. And, and, and the last one is give me a spiritual en en endurance for the fight. It's the yeah. strength, the endurance, the faith, and the word. And also, people, you need to renew your mind. You yes. need to renew your mind. Yes. Whatever, like, like, like Marcus said, any thoughts that come into your mind, man, change the channel. Change the yeah. channel. Change the channel. And get yourself into a godly channel. Get yourself, you know, start watching the junk on TV. I, I, yesterday, I couldn't watch anything on TV. I couldn't watch a movie on the plane. I turned on to Joni. I turned mm -hmm. on from the plane. I was 37,000 feet yeah. watching that awesome <laughs> testimony from that brother and that sister. Yes. That was powerful because my brother came from that lifestyle. I was so edified on the plane, I was about to get up and call, do an altar call. I love it. <laughs> You know, one thing I think it's incredible is that at 33, you literally sold your soul to the devil, yeah, like you uh -huh. said, and then Jesus came after that. Jesus could have come before that, mm -hmm. but it just shows you that it's never too late for people who think that, you know, I've crossed this line because I've right. had these many abortions or whatever. If no God what. can redeem you from selling your soul. To the devil <laughs> himself. He can redeem you from anything. But, but, you know, God did to me like I think he did to Lasha, right? He said, do everything. Don't worry about it, John. Sell your soul. Do everything. I, yeah. I'll get you later. <laughs> Right, so he told Lazarus four days dead. You know, he he said, "Why you didn't come earlier, whatever?" God said, "Let him be dead for dead. Let him be real. Let him, It'll let be, him a be a greater real testimony, dead. and then bring him up. It's yes. a greater yes. testimony."